I receive hundreds of emails per day, as you can see from my inbox right there. And probably so do you. Usually it takes hours and hours of your time per week to just scan through all of these emails, try to understand what they're all about, if it actually requires your input, if it's something that might have been a one-liner and instead it's a whole poem. Now you can do all of that automatically with AI. Let me show you how to do that. It's actually very simple in my studio. So here I have a folder with five different emails. All of these emails are different from each other. This one is a newsletter. This one is a semi-newsletter and a promotional message. This one is coming from a salesperson. This one is also coming from a salesperson. And this is an order confirmation. What I want to do is feed all of these different content and different emails into the AI solution in my studio and then output the tag. First of all, let's take a look at the MindStudio app. This is the MindStudio app that makes that possible. In the beginning, we are initializing three variables, email, email address, and subject. These variables need to be passed through the API request, either through Make, Zapier, or your code base. The second step is to generate the actual labels. So here we're using GPT-40 mini and decide if this is a newsletter, marketing email, internal email, cold outreach, other, or urgent. You can edit these tags to meet whatever requirements you have internally, but these are just examples. And finally, we are outputting the JSON structure email tag equals result. And the result is the output of this block right here. We also use some notes. So you can see here info is categorized emails in the make tag, and JSON is JSON output looks like this. You can add new notes by clicking anywhere in the canvas with the right click and then add note. And you can learn more about the API by simply opening this app in the live mode. So if you click on publish and then open AI worker, you will see integration guides for Zapier, Make, NPM, and other. If you select something like Make, you will see an interactive tutorial step-by-step -step narrated with AI that guides you through the whole process. Now let's take a look at the Make workflow that makes this possible. The Make workflow right here watches all of the records in that particular folder. As you can see, the trigger is watch emails in Gmail. Then we run the MindStudio app. The MindStudio app is configured with the three variables we initialized in the MindStudio workflow, email, email address, and subject. All of these values come from trigger one. Then we transform the JSON into the JSON structure required in make. We parse the JSON and get all of the different tags we need to make this work. And then we route the response in order to tag the emails with the correct label. For example, the first filter is the tag, which is the final output of the MindStudio AI worker, is called outreach. If it's called outreach, then go ahead and modify the email label to called outreach. The second filter is tag equals internal, and tag is the parse JSON of the MindStudio AI worker output. So if the MindStudio AI worker returns internal, then add the label internal. Let's test it out. Let's go back to Gmail, and you'll see that all of these five emails are in the make subfolder. Now, let's run this workflow. As you can see, the workflow ran one time. Let's go back to Gmail and refresh. It worked for the final email. Now the label is make called outreach, which is correct. We are in make, and we want the sublabel called outreach. To make it work for all the emails, let's go back to make, select the trigger, and in maximum number of results, let's go with five. Let's click OK and run it one last time. Great. Now the MindStudio app ran four times because there were four operations, four different emails. You can see the result of all of these operations is success. And then the workflow continued, passed the JSON and routed the responses. It looks like we have two emails with tag newsletter, one email with tag marketing, and one email with tag other. Let's go back to Gmail and confirm. Let's refresh. And voila, now we have two newsletter, one marketing, one other, and one called outreach. Neatly organized all within the make label. This is just an example. You can do the same thing with your Microsoft Outlook. You can decide to use Zapier instead of make. You can mold this however you like. My studio gives you the building blocks to create complex automations that solve business use cases. This is not like ChatGPT. This is you creating AI workers that actually do something for your business, like AI agents, and work for you 24-7. Hope this helps, and happy building.